Hello. Well, today I'm in my shed and uh, I'm going to show you how to make a hobo stove out of this a stainless steel thermos flask. Just run of the mill, nothing, nothing uh, extravagant. So let's take a look, see how we get on. Okay, then. The first job we'd have to do is you get a set square, your set square, and set the set square to 8 inches to here, which I've already done, and then from the base of the flask, you have to mark out 8 inches all the way along, like that the felt tip pen or something mark it out all the way around which I've already done and then what you need to do is get your hacksaw and start sawing through the outer shell of the thermos flask So that's uh, the outer casing of the flask. So that will act now as the main part of the stove. But the first thing we'll have to do here is file down this edge because it'll be very sharp. So you just. Uh, This idea of making a hobo stove isn't my idea, um, it was shown to me by a friend of mine in Yorkshire uh, who I hope is watching this, so uh, <laughs> we'll see what he thinks of this. Now this part that's just come off here, you can put that one side for a minute, you don't need that for a minute. So now we need to take this end piece off here, if you can see. And the only way that comes off is by using a blowtorch. So extreme care has to be taken here because once we start heating this up, there's some air inside which is trapped and of course once you start heating it up it expands and wants to escape and sometimes these can go with a bang um, I have made one of these last week I didn't film it but uh, it went with a hiss so you never know though some go with a bang pop or a hiss or whatever but you need to be very careful and you need to go round carefully what I mean when it, <laughs> it goes bang <laughs> there's a bit of copper tubing in there so we'll uh, blow torch that out first remember don't touch the lid leave it cool off There's that copper 
up to there. Right, thing to do now, go make yourself a cup of tea, let everything cool down until it's uh, cold to the touch. Okay, that's nice and cold now. Um, as you've seen earlier, I was heating this like that until this went bang off there. So this now becomes the lid. So we keep that for later. Now the next thing we need to do is cut an aperture in here of three inches by three inches square. Um, and what you can do is just simply make a like a template on there, which I've done. I'll sellotape this on now. And what needs to happen here is from the base of the can to the bottom of the aperture needs to be three and a half inches. So that's three inches by three inches by three by three. And it does look longer than it is wider, but it is three by three. Okay, so what I've done now is tape that in place and then you need to mark with a pen this aperture, mark that out. And also, you need to punch punch these holes in, pre-drill them, and uh, drill them then with a bigger bit later on, enough for a 10 peg to go through. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, what I'm doing now is punching the holes so I can pre-drill them to make the holes to aerate the fire. There we go. So you've got to be very careful with this. the aperture cut out and all the holes drilled. The only thing I've got to do now is drill the uh, two holes each side here. But before I do that you've got to make sure this is filed so there's no sharp edges here. Okay the next thing is that's more or less the finished um, stove. Uh, remember, if you remember, that's how it was when it came, basically. So we firstly cut 8 inches from the base to the top, right round, which meant that came out. Then we heated up, we heated up this here, that blew off. So that came as our lid. Then we cut out three inches by three inches on the front there, that piece. Drilled holes here two inches apart, alternating each row, as you can see, two inches, about three rows, two inches apart. Two holes here. So this here is going to be the cooking pot. So what you do is make a set square or measure seven inches on here and then what you do is as we did with that one on eight inches you go seven inches from the base and you mark it off right round like that. Right, with that marked off now, with the line there, as you can see, all I need to do now is cut that off, and that's basically it then. Right. 
all you need now two tent pegs now one you see that hole there when uh, I pulled that out there was a little piece of copper pipe copper tubing I heated it with a blowtorch if you remember and it was on fire and pulled it out with the pliers so what will happen is that tent peg there goes through there now this will go into the ground so that secures this because if you think if that's full of water and it's boiling it's quite top heavy so that with that going in the ground get a piece of wood knock it in and then that secures the stove to the ground then won't go anywhere the second one as you may gather goes through there which suspends the cooking pot so then you feed your, your fire with your sticks or whatever you're burning then you put your water or your food in there and there's your lid stops any flies or any muck going in there's two settings on here there's a higher one so if you didn't want it as near as the flame you can have it like that and again there's your lid so that is the hobo stove made of a thermos flask and then to put it all away for carrying that goes back in there two tent pegs go in there and your lid goes on there and that's it so that's a hobo stove made out of a stainless steel thermos flask so that's about it for today that's the uh, hobo stove made from a thermos flask stainless steel thermos flask I uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, maybe you'll try it yourself uh, so thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon